Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today is uh, Easter Sunday here on Pico Island. Um, I'm here in Laj, the village where we're staying. We have our family home here. And today I just, uh, we're hanging low, Laura and I. Uh, we have for the whole weekend. We've been going strong for quite a while. So we're waiting for a nice day just to kind of get down to the coast, which is what I'm doing. But I'm actually gonna try fishing a little bit just for relaxation. I don't have to catch anything, but it, it does, help my, uh, you know, brings me down to a calming state. And to be out here in this uh, area where it's just pretty much a protected area where you can, people come swimming, kayaking, uh, right on the village here on the south coast of the island, uh, it's just incredible. I've been here before, I filmed here before, but as you know, 75% of you are watching this for the first time. By the way, I'm Carlos, Laura's home. She's actually cooking uh, uh, one of her favorite soups for lunch. She's uh, taking some time for herself, and she loves to to do the cooking, the you know paint. Uh, she's very artistic. I didn't realize that. Anyway, she's home relaxing, and I'm down here. Our channels are our journey on Pico Island, and we've been we have over almost 200 videos, and we just share our experiences here on the island. We go on island tours, hang out by the coast. We bought a home. We renovated a home. Now it's being rented, and lots more to come. So. If you haven't liked the video yet, please do, or subscribe, comment, share. We appreciate that it makes our channel grow. But today is all about relaxation here. Let me just see if I can pan behind me here. But this area is just, uh, I just love it here. I grew up here. I spent nine years uh, here on the island before moving, before going to Canada. But I come back often. I know Laura's been coming back with me for 12, 12 years, 12, 13 years. Uh, but today is just about relaxation. Sometimes you need to take time for yourself to just unwind and just uh, not worry about work, not worry about the, the channel, making videos, um, any of that stuff. So this is how we're celebrating our Easter weekend and today being Easter Sunday. Uh, this is about actually the perfect weather for it. There's a little bit of a breeze, but the water's fairly calm. I do have to be careful here. These rocks are a bit slippery at times. This is like a lava lava everywhere down here. I actually just kind of uh, took a little bit of, I slipped a little bit and uh, actually you can see my thumb there. Got to be careful. Yeah, I don't have the proper shoes to be here but uh, I'll just go slow and take you along with me. Hopefully you'll stick around the video and get to relax with me down here on the coast of Pico Island, one of the nine islands of the Azores. <music> So I'm trying to find a spot to just sit, relax, throw a few uh, lines out, see uh, just to see if I could catch anything. That would be nice. I've been dying to go fishing for a while now, um, and today's the day. I'm going to try to go out a few more times, especially on nice days. Um, but look, these are the water pools that you'll find. So the tide sort of, I'm thinking it's... See, it's low, half low right now. I'm not sure if it's filling up or emptying. So I got to keep an eye on it because there's some there's an area where I got to be careful when I go back. But this is what, uh, when I say lava coast, this is it. This is raw lava, similar to Hawaii, actually exactly the same. And uh, this is the islands of the Azores. It's a combination of Hawaii, New Zealand, Iceland. You see, it's all very quiet out here. There's bird colonies. You can come here on the on the this is where you go higher into the main road and looking back all right, you got a nice clear day today nice and calm not sure how warm or cold the water is I don't I think it's warming up now and I'm just gonna go a little bit further and see there this is what I mean some of these rocks are a bit 
edgy, but there's a lot of flat areas. Sometimes it feels like it's steps, so that's what you look for when you're walking. Make sure you have comfortable shoes. Hiking shoes would be good here. I have running shoes, so the hiking shoes would be better. But look at this. You have these crevices. I don't know, some of you watching this, this is interesting to you, and this is why I'm, um, I'm filming it. And taking it with me, and if I look back, I noticed on the way down that uh, Pico had some snow on and now it's even clearer. Let's see if I can zoom in a little. Let's see, uh, a couple days ago the snow came halfway down the mountain. Usually it doesn't reach down here, but uh, it has. It's been a few days of wind and some rain, ever changing. And this is what the Azores is all about. And this is why people are coming here all year round and more and more off season. If you stay away from July, August, September, you'll avoid the busier times, uh, you get better, you, you know, the service is upgraded when you come off season. So we, our tourism business always suggests that. And this is where we try and do with our guests. I'm not going to keep them, I'm going to throw them back out. Just today, just uh, catch and release today. How great is this you know it's I'm fishing but for those of you that uh, let's say don't fish you can be down here or a similar place around anywhere in the Azores and just a joke is trust me this is therapeutic I, I, uh, I guarantee you um, half hour an hour four hours spend the whole day I know a lot of people that do that and uh, their life is better off for it now I've caught actually some fish uh, most of them, I caught a couple of, I would say like this, most of them are, I'm catching and releasing all of them at this point, unless I catch a really nice one that I, um, that I, I would take. But for now, I mean, I wasn't even prepared to clean fish, but you never know. If I catch a really nice one, it's coming with me. Um, this is what the Azers is all about. All our packages that we do, uh, with Life Wellness Azores, is this kind of holiday. Low and slow. Allow time. 
to do these things. If you just come for three or four days, it's going to be hard. And sometimes even us here, we're here for a long time and we start working and we had to get the house ready just recently for the guests. It's been a lot of work that we put into the last couple of years. I got to do more days like this. A lot of times I would plan it, kind of realize this and it's been a while. And let's get down to the coast or up to the highlands and uh, plan a day. Then the next day it rains or it's windy, can't do it. And then back to work. But now I think I want to do this a little bit more often now that things are a little lighter. And I think it's good to share this with um, you guys. Um, there's a lot of you that are into uh, life wellness, you know, um, you know, bettering your life. A lot of you are changing your life, going in a direction, maybe retiring, semi retiring, planning on it. Um, but this is why I think the Ezors, not because I'm in the business of tourism, specializing in these or special people either, but just. Because I care about people, I care about uh, the, you know people that come in contact with that you know are very nice, and I want to, you guys to know that there are places out there, even with a chaotic world, that you can just tone it completely down. And just like I, I, as I'm fishing here, I'm looking around, I see the seagulls, I see the local hawk here, the Azor hawk. Uh, so much uh, birds, uh, it's incredible. The crabs everywhere, I mean, fish and. It's just breathing in the salt air is so good. So we actually brought some lunch because I knew I was going to get hungry soon. But I'm going to continue fishing. I'm really enjoying it. I decided to do some soup, uh, which I haven't had time to do in a while since we've been so busy with the house. But now that uh, our guests are moved in, uh, now I have some time. And uh, yeah, we took a few days just to take some breaths and do some creative things. Uh, actually, one of the things that I love to do is uh, watercolor. So uh, I did a couple of things. I made this little picture for my, my niece, Mila. Hi, Mila, I miss you. <laughs> and, uh, and I do, I like to do a lot of uh, succulent uh, paintings. So I find this really relaxing. Um, but today I'm gonna do some soup. So um, I'll take you guys through a little bit and um, I'll let you get back to Carlos and see what he's up to. All right, it's time for lunch. I actually found this actual, I would say, I'm still in the same area where I was before, but as you know, there's some crevices and uh, all different types of lava formation. I actually found a, a seat I'll show you in a minute. I always find these seats built just for me, you know, either in the water or on the coast. Uh, so for lunch, it's very simple today. Just a snack, I guess, more than anything. Peanut butter and jelly, whole wheat bread, and some nice Ezor's cheese with some water. But the, the main thing here is where we are. Like right now I can feel the heat coming from the lava rock and uh, the weather is exactly the same maybe it's even warmer now for sure the sun's higher up I think it's, a, it's a past maybe it's one I'm not even sure what time it is I didn't bring a watch I'm not even looking at the at the phone for the time I don't really care uh, my stomach will dictate and right now dictated lunch um, but enjoying myself hope you guys are as well and take time out for yourself. So let's, uh, I'm just gonna pan around. You can get an idea where I'm at here, where I'm sitting. So I'm sort of in a hole, right? Some lava pools. Okay. You can even see all types of, let me just quickly show you. You see, and there's limpets, uh, all types of marine life everywhere. See, look at all those fish in here and I'm sort of at this inside this hole basically and as I look up here this is what's in front of me obviously I've, this is the views of you've been seeing throughout today but and here's the chair I found all right right here see put my feet down sit right there there's the back support and coming up and this is Pico this is the Azores
guys. So I just added the uh, onions and garlic and I put some uh, paprika, a little bit of cumin and chickpeas, starting with that. And then I'm gonna add the vegetables. Okay, just threw all the vegetables in and now I'm going to add the broth. I'm gonna let that uh, boil for a bit and I will see you guys for lunch and uh, show you what the soup looks like. Um, I'm actually gonna take half of this soup and blend it because Carlos likes a little bit creamier and I like a little chunky. So I'm gonna end up doing two soups today. <laughs> Hi guys, just popping in. As you know, we work together with our travel partner, Life Wellness Azores, on developing and promoting packages and tours to the Azores. The best way to experience these beautiful North Atlantic Portuguese islands in mainland Portugal is to go low and slow. Today we're letting you know about three amazing last minute package tour deals. And there's only a few spots left, so you have to act quick. Tour package experience number one, the best of the Triangle Islands. This one you get to experience uh, three beautiful islands in the central group of the Azores, Fayal, Pico, and São Jorge. This is seven nights departing on May 9th. Extend your trip by three nights to 10 nights and add the island of São Miguel and you have experienced tour option number two, which is the best of the Azores. 10 nights discovering four islands in the middle of the North Atlantic. On this package tour, you're gonna to get a really good taste of what the Azores is all about. Tour experience number three is the best of Portugal. This is nine days, eight nights, experiencing places like Lisbon, Ericeira, Tumar, Porto, and much more. And this, this tour departs on April 29th. For the Azores part of the tours, it's 400 euros off per couple. And for the mainland, it's 300 euros per couple. To get this promo, you must book by March 24th. Uh, the promo code is OJPI. Feel free to contact Egidio at Life Models Azores for any further information on these tours. I think the tide's coming in, just these beautiful lava pools. The clarity of this water is incredible. Pessoal, os Azores é assim, bonito, limpo, cheio de natureza. Todas as ilhas, as nove ilhas de Bruma, com essa natureza especial, a gente tem que parar, cheirar o mar, o sal, tomar tempo para a nossa saúde. Isso é o que estou a fazer hoje. O, dia, o domingo de Páscoa é o que estou a fazer. É. E a Laura está também descansando, fazer o que gosta. Eu gosto de pescar, eu gosto estar aqui na costa, tem que fazer mais disso. I'm just telling my Portuguese, uh, some of them don't speak English, just uh, take time. The Azores is beautiful, nine beautiful islands full of nature. They should take time for themselves like I am today and just come down and enjoy what nature has to offer. I'm skeptical putting the line in here. It's kind of uh, a lot of rocks, but uh, Maybe I'll go to the pier. Just wanted to share. This is about nature, this video, about relaxation, about wellness. So, see these canals go all the way through. So you make their way, you know, right through. As the tide comes in, obviously the levels get higher. A lot of crabs, all, all different sizes of crabs here. All right, let's uh, fish for a little, a little bit longer.
as you saw, I just dumped some of the scrap vegetables into our makeshift compost. <laughs> uh, I really don't like throwing them in the garbage, so it is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. So sunny, and Carlos must be really enjoying his fishing time. And uh, I'm gonna really enjoy this soup. We love staying in both these houses. One is in Lage and one is in Samatirj. Samatirj is now a little bit more modernized. Uh, it has uh, electric, electric stove, and uh, electric water tank. So you know that you're never gonna run out of water. <laughs> Here in Lage, uh, everything is on propane. The stove, the shower, so you could end up running out of hot water. But um, the great thing is, is if there's ever a blackout, you have propane. So you can still cook and you can still take a shower. <laughs> I hope our guests are enjoying our house in Samatirj and uh, Margaret and Glenn. Um, you woke up to a beautiful sunny morning and I'm sure that the ocean was nice and calm. We had a bit of a, a storm, probably about two days of really high winds and rain. And uh, yes, woke up Sunday, Easter Sunday morning with this beautiful sunshine. Soup is done. So I did two soups, one for me, vegetable, and one for Carlos. So I actually added some red kidney beans in here with a mix of the vegetables and pureed it. He likes this kind of soup. Anyways, I'm gonna eat some lunch now and I might actually take a little walk down and see what uh, Carlos has caught. Uh -huh. How was it? Awesome. Yeah, awesome. you got lots of good footage. Great footage. Caught some fish. I released them. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's sunny. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go meet Glenn and Margaret for coffee. What a coincidence that is, them being down here. I just thought it was them. I'm like, what? They look like Glenn and Margaret. Coming closer, and I yelled it out, and it was them. Yeah. So they're, What are the odds, they're, but They're yeah. enjoying their time so far. Looking for nature there. Came down to Lodge. I like spending time here as well. And that's yeah. Good. Yeah. I encourage that. So much to explore on the island. Right. They're, uh, here, they're here for a year, so they're so lucky. And did you notice that there's snow on Pico? Yeah, I actually got some footage of you. Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, let's go for coffee. Fishing is over for today. Spent about four hours down there, and you're not going to believe this. As I'm down there, almost ready to pack it in, uh, I see this couple coming towards where I'm, you know, just kind of walking around. And that looks like... Glenn and Margaret, actually the people that are now staying at our place here in Samatir. And it was a beautiful surprise. They came to Talaish to just, you know, spend uh, you know some time walking around. And anyways, we're now having a drinks with them. Super nice. They're here for a year. And from Calgary. So a shout out to all of you in Calgary there. I'm sure there's a, some of you that uh, watch the channel. I have a few comments and people are in, uh, in Alberta. I think Calgary will be one of the spots. Anyways, what a beautiful day. Can't say this enough. Also, uh, I'll give a shout out to this uh, place here, Balayish Cafe. Unbelievable views, very good service. Uh, my cousin Rob actually works here. He's uh, one of the best in the business. Shout out to Rob. You're always bumping into someone, someone that you know, either an expat that's now living here, family, friends from the village, uh, as we were having a drink. Family from San Mateo popped in Betancourt and uh, family and uh, the you know it's great I mean so once again I want to wish everyone happy Easter Boa Pascua um bom domingo de Pascua pessoal aqui na ilha e fora da ilha just saw two or three boats of whale watching return so there's already this is starting now blue whales as are here humpbacks um, so it's good to see this. It's starting early. It's not it's not even April yet. But here on this village, on this island, it's one of the top places in the world for whale watching. A lot of different, the most species come through here throughout the year. So What a day. Oh, hey? it's, yeah, gorgeous. How's the soup turn out? Oh, very good. You'll be quite happy. I actually did a soup for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right. So this is what Pico's all about. We always say that uh, you could be sitting, relaxing, and 
you're just going to meet people from family, friends, like Glenn and Margaret bumped into them today, hanged out with them for the last couple hours, and saw our cousins, Louis, Reginald, the whole family. But uh, yeah, everybody was dressed up except us. Yeah, no, we're we're on right now. This uh, used to have been. It's like we're on holidays, <laughs> and this is we're actually on the way back up to the house. Laura wants to do more laundry. You don't stop, do you? Nope. Um, like you kind of tell her, you got to relax a little bit more. But that is my relaxing. Yeah. When, but you got to admit, it's really easy to relax here if you choose to. Yes. Right. Yes. And uh, you're probably dying to go whale watching now. Yes. After, and after I see everybody coming in and. <laughs> definitely want to go out well listen I think we're gonna sign out here hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, hanging out with us today I think uh, you saw a little, you were with Laura for a little bit and you were with me for a little bit and uh, it's uh, the main thing why we did this video is just to sh so you guys can see the tranquility of the place and uh, how relaxed you can be here and when you're surrounded by nature it's easier to do that so don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that notification bell yes that's very important for the YouTube yes and help. also to know when the next videos are that's coming right out. help help our channel grow we really appreciate all you guys and hopefully uh, some of you watching this for the first time will watch more of our videos all right guys so from Lajes du Pico the village on the coast where I think whale watching is uh, one of the best places. It's number in the world. one. Yeah. And. Uh, ciao, guys. Ciao. And uh, ciao, guys. And ciao, guys, <laughs> yes.